BMW goes racing again. Acura reveals its latest RL, the Yes Roadster is unveiled, and Ferrari opens a bakery. I'm Matt Farah from the New York Motor Club, host of the Garage 419. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. BMW racing fans just got an early President's Day gift from the team of Ray Hall Letterman. BMW Motorsport announced yesterday it would return to the American Le Mans series. The Bimmer in question will be a new race-modified M3 coupe that will run in the ALMS GT2 class by 2009. Ray Hall Letterman says it'll field two of the cars, likely replacing the Porsche 911 GT3 RSR it last ran in 2007. For BMW, the announcement marks a return to the series after withdrawing from ALMS at the end of 2006. No word yet on the car's performance specs, but that giant front splitter may get a seal of approval from the Association of Department Store Santa Clauses. This week at the Chicago Auto Show, Acura rolled out its latest RL sedan for 2009. Not a whole lot different from the previous model, the RL does get a new face and a more powerful engine. That is, a new 3.7 liter VTEC V6, producing 300 horsepower and 271 foot-pounds of torque. It also comes with new F1-style shift paddles to direct the 5-speed sequential sport shift automatic. Expect a rollout to dealerships later this year. Also in Chicago, alongside the Deep Dish Pizza, St. Valentine's Day Massacre Memorial, and roving gangs of Dennis Franz impersonators, the Yes Roadster made its long-awaited debut. The Audi-powered Yes will arrive in the U.S. this June to compete head-to-head -head with the Lotus Elise. German specialty car builder Funk & Will says they'll start shipping the first of 50 Yes models each year to the States. Expect the 255 horsepower base model to sticker for around 78 grand and a 446 horsepower model to sell for nearly 100 grand. Next up, is Ferrari working on a bread van? That's in the internet rumor mill after this. Do you love Fastlane Daily? Do you love your TV? Well, now you can TiVo your FLD fix so it can be fast and fresh whenever you want it. Too much of a computer nerd to use a TV? No problem. We're on YouTube and VO2. Go check it out. Now, bitch. Ferrari watchers have been stalking out the company's Fiorano test track trying to get a glimpse of a rumored new 2 plus 2 car. This week, spies may have gotten their wish. Of course, what they caught looks less like a GT than a delivery van. Ferrari fans may even say it looks like the famous Ferrari bread van Berlinetta of 1961. Of course, it's just a test car disguised to keep the nosy photogs at bay. Where it is, the new car is 20 inches shorter than a 612 Scaglietti and powered by a 450 horsepower direct injection V8. Insiders say we'll see the new prancing horse at the Paris Auto Show this September. And that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. Tune in tomorrow when the ghost of Al Capone takes on Mike Ditka in a cage match for Deep Dish Pizza King in Chicago. I'm out.